Hello and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Nancy. This is our miniature horse, Teddy Bear. Call him Teddy for those who are new. And he will be two very soon. And we had a very interesting week this past week. And I had to work through a couple things with Teddy. Um, if you are new to my channel, I am training Teddy to drive. He's going to be a driving mini when he gets older. He's too young to pull weight yet, but I've started to train him to ground drive, as you can see. And if you want to see how he's progressed from week to week, you can look at the playlist that I'll leave at the end of this video. And I'll also leave it under the description, under the video in the description. But this past week, we had some really nasty weather come through. And today, by the way, I am driving him with blinkers. I've been trying to alternate back and forth today. I do have blinkers on him. And he's still getting used to going back and forth. But I have noticed he is a little bit more comfortable with blinkers than without, but I am still doing some driving without blinkers. But this past week, we had some very rough weather. We had some storms come through and we had an F3 tornado pass just north of us. We thank God for keeping us safe, for protecting us. We have a son, and, our son and his family live southwest of us. And we have a daughter and her family who live northeast of us. And thankfully it missed all of us, but it was a big tornado. And F3 was just about a half a mile wide, 140 mile an hour winds. And it did a lot of damage and destruction. One man unfortunately was killed. So, we were just thankful that we were okay and that none of, nothing got damaged at our place and it did not hit us directly. But I will tell you, the animals sensed it. They must have sensed it because the next day and for a couple days, all of our animals were much more spooky. Teddy in particular was much more difficult to drive. He was not difficult to drive, but he was spooking at everything. Every strange sound he was jumping. And uh, he's calmed down quite a bit, as you can see. He's starting to go back to where he was. I'm gonna bring him to a stop key. Teddy will stand. He's looking back at me at my voice. Teddy back. And again, I'm trying to keep very light on the reins. And Teddy walk. But for a few days, he was really wild and round, wound up, as was our mare and our other minis. So they just, they know and can sense when something's not quite right. But I'm just going back to trying to get Teddy to back where he was. He kind of digressed a little bit in our training, but he seems to be pretty much back to normal now. And uh, <laughs> we are supposed to have another round of very severe weather this afternoon in a few hours. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna take him down by the pond, see how he does down there. And it's actually very hot here today. Almost feels like it's close to 90 here. So we're not going to do this for very long. Just a little bit of walking. What? What do you see? Fish. You see the fish? Oh, my husband sees fish. No, I don't see them. Not from where I'm holding him. Okay, Teddy, come. Let's go this way. I'm going to go up this way. Keep up into the shade. But he's doing fine. Teddy's back to what he was before. He's much, much more calm. And the other day, I'm always fascinated with how horses interact with each other. And sometimes I just like to watch them. And I've shared some of this in my other videos, but our mare Stormy, our paint mare Stormy is very good with our minis. And she is definitely the alpha mare, but she, um, it, she you know, she's, she lets them know who's boss but she is not mean to them. She's a really, really nice mare. I've, I've never really been that fond of mares, but I have Stormy and I have one mini that's a mare and I really love both of them. They're really, really nice mares. But I thought I would show you some of that footage that I took and you can see how Stormy is just kind of gently hurting, especially it was Teddy and, Teddy and Susie. So I thought I'd show that to you. Let's see what's gonna happen between Teddy, Susie, and Stormy. This ought to be interesting. Here comes Stormy. See her pin her ears back. 
she's definitely <laughs> Stormy's the alpha mare, definitely. Uh oh. Oh, she's going after Susie. That's not good. Stormy, I didn't think she would go in there because I have the top wire up. I guess she decided to traipse over on that side to get a drink. And here comes Stormy. Let's see what Stormy's going to do with Susie. I think, oh, Stormy's going to roll. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a fat little girl. for me brushing her nice this morning before I rode her. Feel good, Stormy? <laughs> oh, she's doing the alpha stuff. She's gonna chase her back out in the field. Yep. There goes Stormy. showing off, showing that she's alpha, telling Teddy stay away. Definitely. <clears throat> Stormy is the alpha mare of this herd over everybody. Little stinker. What's the matter, Susie? Susie could care less. Susie just wants something to eat. She doesn't care. She says, I don't care if they chase me around. She said, I'm older than all of them. Right, Susie? You're a good girl. And Salem thinks everybody's stupid. He's just over there thinking, I don't know why they're messing with each other. This is green grass in this corner and I'm going to eat it all before they get to it. Anyway, very relaxing spring day out here. I hope you enjoyed seeing that and seeing my tubby mare Stormy rolling around. She's not normally on that side of the paddocks. She went over there. She was just trying to harass Susie a little bit. It was kind of funny. But I'm going to bring this to a close, I think, because we are supposed to have some nasty weather and I want to get a few things ready for that. But as you can see, Teddy is pretty much the way he was the last time I drove him before we had those bad storms. I hope you have a great week. If you'd like to follow how I'm working with him and learn a little bit more about our other horses that we have, don't forget to subscribe and share it with a friend and click like. If you click like, it helps more people to see these videos. And I'll see you next week. I hope you have good weather. I hope that there is uh, no violent weather where you're living. And uh, happy Easter, happy Passover. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.